Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot and die! Hello everybody and welcome to race number 7 here at Texas Motor Speedway for the Season 8 NSRA Spectrum Cup Series. Let's get on down to your starting lineup on the pole. We have Ace Wild next to him, Benjamin Miles 3rd, Cole Deaver 4th, James Ellison 5th, Kyle Matthews 6th, Charles Saffer 7th, is John Zerlin 8th, Alexander Rowe 9th, is Cody Smart completely in top 10, Michael Norman. Here's the rest of your starting line from 11th and 12th on back. On the final row, we have Vince Freeze and Dylan Throw. Now we, we are getting ready for this race. A lot of things came on by from the Chicagoland race. Basically, well, survival of the fittest definitely was the theme altogether. And in the end, we did have a very big proven winner. And, of course, a lot of changes that went around in the standings coming on by. As I am trying to get the points set up and... Unfortunately, I accidentally closed it down. So, while I get the points situated, uh, we're going to take a very quick break. We'll get the command, and then we'll get you your point situation in just a brief moment of time. So, Jesse Turner managed to pick up the win during that race weekend at Chicagoland. Jackie Tang jumped up into the points lead, knocking Eric Burden and Chris Dollarton out of the points positions. Charles Sanfer or excuse me, Alison Rain, Charles Sanford complete the top five, Eric Monaco, Michael Norman, RJ Bishop, Sky Commons, and Dill Throw complete the top ten points. And here comes the command. Drivers, start your engines! So there is the command. We are now turning it loose, and we're going to let these guys roll on off here. And I believe someone may have had an issue, and that is the case. Car number one, Zach Flickinger. Troubles for the Pennzoil Chevrolet. And he has tire damage and also engine damage to Jonathan Zorlin in the 43. But Pace Car is already down pit road. He's coming down pit road as well. Is Jonathan Zorlin. Green flag is down and we're underway here in Texas. And we're just going to see real quick if Zorlin's going to be out of the race. And they're at least going to get some service on the Cheerios Dodge. Zach Flickinger, well... Definitely not going to be a good start for him in the one car. They better get that car going. Otherwise, well, I think it's the gist where I'm going to go on that one. But leading the first lap, Ace Wild in car 17. Your winner back at race number two this season at Atlanta. And both cars, one lap down. Kyle Matthews in car five. Good start there. And Cody Smart, who really has not been having the best of starts all together this year. Same can be said for Benjamin Miles. And I'll tell you what. Uh, Smart and Miles' last couple of races actually had really good qualifying efforts. They just got involved in some ridiculous uh, messes there. So, it's like they say, anything can really happen. It is early on into the year. As you see, Smart got put three wide into the middle there. You've seen uh, Quentin Moore and Zach Winkle are going underneath. And one car exiting. That's Zach Flickinger. I believe Zorlin. Yep, gearbox issue out of it. Tough blow right there. For the 43 team. Looks like Smart managed to beat out Zach Winkle in the 93. And then Sky Combs in the 32. Going to hold on to his position. Now Seth Cole, Chris Dellert are going to... Oh, trouble! Ace Wild, Quinn Moore up in the lead. Pack Smart up and over. Oh, my word. What the heck even happened? Oh, Flickinger. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Flickinger would run into the pack. What in the world happened? James Qualls also involved. Trouble for Jackie Tang in the 28. I have a feeling Kyle Matthews or Quint Moore, one of the two, may have started the mess. 
Oh, Eric Monaco's got damage, and Eric Byrne, I think, beat out the four. But I think Monaco's going to come down pit road all together. Oh, my God. What the hell happened? Benjamin Miles, right now P3. I, I don't even know what to say there. Fitzwater, Dylan Young, Jesse Turner also involved. There's Flickinger. His day just went to complete crap there. Diego Yepes, and no idea what Fitzwater's doing there. Aaron Macklin, oh man, who had that rough day at Chicagoland, not going to help out with him. Sky Commons, there's Quentin Moore, Michael Norman, Cody Smart. Ace Wild, your pole sitter. Boy, I would love to know what happened to Wild there because he absolutely got destroyed there. James Ellison also involved. What car? I didn't see... Uh... There he is. Well, I thought he made it through. Lane Sanders, so. Kyle Matthews out in front. Oh, boy. I can't wait to see her brought out our first caution. Well, folks, I've said for the longest of time I've seen it all. Oh, no. I have seen everything now. Now, Ace Wild was leading here uh, coming into lap 4 of 51. And I can't believe I'm saying this. Wild's going to blow the motor just after he crossed the line. And... Matthews barely gets by the act by the whole Ace Wild ordeal. Brad Crawford just gets contact from the 17 and Winkle slaps the wall. They're all just trying to avoid the mess and what a bad time right there just for the cause of the wreck. Seth Cole actually made some contact off Benjamin Miles and the 24 just said never lift, made it through the whole mess. Zach Winkle and everyone on the outside just nowhere to go. Yep, as Jesse Turner got bumped by Mitchell Collins. Who goes into Michael Norman. Tang gets hit from Ace Wild there. Mainly kept the car together. Alexander Rowe also got some peace going into the wall there. Stephen Cologne, the 31. Watch Flickinger just trying to avoid his... Oh man, Qualls. Oof. That has to be one of the most strangest incidents right there. I believe Aaron Macklin really got away with very minimal damage. He just got stuck on the apron, as too did uh, the 32 of uh, uh, Sky Commons. Just Cody Smart. He was on top of the 32's uh, corner, and or the B-pillar, I should say. But Boy, I have seen some instances before, but... I definitely want to take an onboard on a few drivers. And I can't wait to see what the heck even happened. But the driver who got through that one big time was Eric Burton in the 7. Wow, they were all split. And they were about 5 wide to get around Quentin Moore in the 96. And one of them was Laura Chung in the 2. Wow. Chung literally used the, the apron. All the way to the inside line just to get around the 96. Didn't even care. Well, I definitely have seen everything now. Matthew's out in front. Let's go take an onboard of uh, some of the people that made it through that mess. On board, Kyle Matthews. He's going to get the view of a lifetime here. Watch how he's going to make it by this mess. Wow. You see Brad Crawford. I mean, he got very lucky out of all that. And then just absolute man behind. On board, Seth Cole in the 24. Somehow, he's going to get away from this mess. All thanks to Benjamin Miles. Both him and the 44 got by that. Very impressive work by both drivers. Wow. On board, the leader of the race, Ace Wild. Just not, not not a whole lot you could do at that point. I mean, when you got a blown motor, I mean, not really a whole lot you can do there, but tough break for the DeWalt Ford. On board, Eric Burton. Somehow he's going to get by this mess. And look where he was at. Basically let the seas part, man, and he did a great job. This is why he's been very well known to drive these cars, and you can see why they're an incredible job by the nation's rent forward. And our final on board, Quentin Moore in the 96. Not going to be so lucky here. 
Wow, just unfortunate how he got involved in that. You could just see how crazy that wreck was over there. Tough break for Quentin Moore. Caution's out. Let's take it back to the green. Well, welcome back, folks. You have not missed much, but quite a number of tires retired after that very goofy wreck. And outside of Zorlin being out of the race and Zach Flickinger, got Zachary Fitzwater, James Qualls, Ace Wild, which I know a lot of people are going to be probably going for the pitchforks after after this race. Michael Normie, dates on a 500 winner, Cody Smart, Zach Winkle, Dylan Young, all out of the race. And then lap down cars are Diego Yepes, Quint Moore, and Jackie Tang, one lap down. Sky Commons and Aaron Macklin, two laps down. Yepes, probably be the only one up to speed. Maybe Jackie Tang, but Quint Moore, I doubt it. Top 10 rundown going back to Green Flag Race. Me, Kyle Matthews, Benjamin Miles, Chris Dollarton, Cole Deaver, Roberto Crown Jr., Seth Cole, Charles Sanfer, Lane Sanders, Levi McTerr, Jessica Sheldon. Green flag, back underway. And yeah, more he is. Way off the pace. Yep, is also off the pace as well. So that lap traffic is really going to be playing a lot of issues there throughout this race. But the big one that's really holding up the people the most is car 96. Look at Collins and Cologne trying to get by car 96 on the high line. And will get by. Now, Tang is trying to push the 96 out of the way. Or at least find a way to get around him. And will finally do so. And now, here comes a brigade going around that McDonald's Ford. Wow, look at Brad Crawford. Remember, he came down pit road earlier. He tried the high line. did not work out. And he's going to be stuck behind Quentin Moore. Crawford, wow, he literally threw it on the inside line just to get in front of that 14 car of Andrew Davis there. And they will get around about everyone now. Getting around Tang. Now they're going to try to get around Macklin. But these guys here, they are hoping to get around every lap car they can in case we get a green flag run and green flag pit stops. Meanwhile, though, Benjamin Miles... Leading a lap, that has got to be tremendous for the Georgia Pacific Dodge, who has literally been struggling this year. Now, he did, I believe, no, he did not lead a lap uh, at Mossport. He did lead a lap at Chicagoland, though, and that really helped him out, but still in the bottom of the points. Now, Matthews, Charles, Sanfer working together to try to get around Miles for second. So far, no dice. Now, here comes Crown Jr., Cole Deaver working together. Jessica Shelton, Lane Sanders, Seth Cole, Levi McIntyre, all within the top 10, hanging around the front of the pack. And how about Vince Freeze, who started dead last this race, up to P11. It's the Interstate Batteries Pontiac. Great day for him, who's not been having the best of starts this year. Very, very impressive. Alexander Rowe, P12. Christian Vargas, P13. Zach, or uh, not Zach Wiggle, I'm sorry. Sam and Oskin, P14. And Eric Burton right now, P15. If everything is going the way it is, Burton will take over the points lead yet again. Collins right now 16th, Stephen Cologne 17th. And right now 18th is a battle between Austin LaPlante and Dylan Thoreau and Laura Chung completing the top 20. Right now they're getting around Diego Yepes in the 77 as a lap car. And then the car that's not really terribly off the pace is Aaron Macklin, the 36. Remember, he is currently two laps down in 32nd, all because of that towing penalty that took play there. See, Davis is uh, finally getting around Monaco, Tang, Turner, Commons, and more mainly. But Davis needs to rely on a caution. Probably the same thing for Macklin. If he wants to at least try to get back on the lead lap or at least get one of his laps back. Charles Sanford starting to dip a little bit there. He's getting freight trained by McIntyre. Freeze, Oskin, Burton, and Vargas. They all literally got around the square at each Chevrolet. Now you can add Alexander Rowe and Mitchell Collins into the mix. Wow, that 55 must have hit the wall as he has lost a whole chunk of spots. Right now, Matthews out in front. He got ahead of Dollarton. And now Miles back on the attack. There's something I didn't think I'd ever expect. Oh, never mind. Sanders pushes Lane Sand or uh Sanders pushes Roberto Crown Jr. out of the way. Wow, I'm sorry. I meant to save Sanders for both. That was dumb. 
But Sanders in the 0-1, singular wireless dodge, pushing Roberto Crown Jr. to the outside line. Now Seth Cole into the mix, Jessica Shelton working on the 8 car there. And once again, troubles for Quentin Moore is going to continue, and he has blown the motor. His day has just been absolutely went from bad to worse. And now he is out of the race. So that'll help a uh, couple of lap cars uh, gain some spots. Or at least gain a spot, I should say. And now Dollarton's been freight trained to the high line there. And man, just you're stuck on that real big high line there. You're just going to lose every bit of momentum whatsoever. Eric Burton has now cracked into the top 10 as that nation's red forward. He wants every bit of point he can. He does not care. Sanders up to P3. Great day for that 0-1 team. They really haven't made a lot of noise this season, but today they're doing a fantastic job here at Texas. And keep in mind, Sanders is one of those up-and-coming young drivers there that is going to make his Entersol debut when we head into Season 11. And this is his second season in the Spectrum Cup Series. Last season, kind of did okay. Got a win, though, at Zinjoltis. This season, kind of okay again, trying to get a win. And they have caught Tang in the 28, and Jesse Turner, and Sky Commons. Deaver and Matthews got around them, and Sanders, oh man, this is where the fun's going to begin. Those lap cars, Q Fitzwater in the live chat saying that one there. Oh, and Commons is battling Turner, which I have no idea why. That is just not a good idea. This is where if you're Sanders... You want to be patient. He pits a three wide. He said, forget the waiting period. I'm getting ahead of these guys. To hell with that. Not a fan of waiting. And now they are now trying to work on Jackie Tang in the 28. Nice move by Sanders throwing a block on Seth Cole. Oh, Eric Burton couldn't go down low in time. Vargas said, I am going down low. You are not going underneath me. Now Burton's going to try to throw his car underneath. Wait for McIntyre to clear. And there's a caution. I heard the wreck. Caution's out for the second time today. These two are still going to battle. However, third place already crossed the line, which is Lane Sanders. And it looks like Matthews, who got ahead of Cole Deaver there, he will come to the line and will come down to the line to be P1. Trouble on turn four and the front straight. Oh, man, some cars really pounded the wall. Oh, that's Brad Crawford and Lauren Chung. Oh, and oh, Roberto Crown Jr. Him and Austin the plant. What the heck happened to them? Not too certain. But the lap cars may have played a big issue today. And cars are coming down pit road. Some of the damaged cars, I should say. And I have a feeling Kyle Matthews and others will do the same. The damage cars are all coming down, but they better get going because that pace car is already uh, coming off of four there. One car man should get out in the nick of time. That's Allison Rain, Amanda Evans. Rain's going to beat out the pace car, and I think Amanda Evans will do the same. Andrew Davis managed to beat out the pace car as well. I don't know about... Ooh, Ellison barely is going to get out ahead. Roberto Crown Jr. and Austin the Plants. Dylan Throw. They will beat out the pace car. Or did they not? Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, they did not beat out the pace car. Oh, man, that's a heartbreak there. And Lane Sanders... It's going to beat out the leaders. Christian Vargas, P2. Sheldon, P3. Seth Cole, P4. Mitchell Collins, P5. Charles Samper, Vince Freeze, Sam and Oskin, Eric Burton. Holy cow, what a choke job by both Kyle Matthews in the 5 and Cole Deaver in the 3. Alexander Rowe, RJ Bishop leaving their stalls. And Allison Rain and company behind did not beat out the pace car. I thought they did. But they did not, and that is really going to hurt them, I believe. They will be on the tail end of the lead lap, and they better hope for a quick caution to come. Otherwise, man, they will have no chance of winning this race. Caution's out for the second time today. Your leader is Lane Sanders. We're going to take a look at ourselves our second yellow flag at today's race here at Texas. Well, you could put the Zachary Fitzwater uh, damn those lap cars really on the... 
comments section there because Sky Commons kind of is going to start this wreck there. Sam and Oskin, Alexander Rowe, Vince Freeze all trying to get around the 32. And Oskin and Alexander Rowe just make enough of a bit of contact. Oskin's going to hang on. Alexander Rowe's not with the help of Vince Freeze. And 27's going to go around. Jesse Turner, nowhere to go. Bruno Crow Jr. also got a piece of it there. And wow, he actually uh, hit him with the right side of the car. Yeah, so Crown, or, um, Crown Jr. is definitely going to be off the pace there. And then another wreck's going to ensue coming down the front straight. I'm trying to see what the heck even happened. Oh, Austin Plant got into uh, Jesse Turner there. Dylan Thoreau is barely going to get by this accident there. But where is this going to start? Oh, Brad Crawford's going to go in Austin the plant. Oh, Andrew Davis, nowhere to go. Laura Chung. James Ellison gets a little piece. Oh, how in the world did Amanda Evans... She does get by the accident. Allison Rain. Aaron Macklin got involved running in the back end of another driver. Couldn't tell who that was. Ooh, nice lick by the plant there. Yeah, Amanda Evans made it by. Cologne was already down pit road at the time. So, definitely an unnecessary wreck. Thanks to Sky Comments there, but cautions out. Lane Sanders out in front. Take it back to the green. Pace cars give us one lap to go out of the race after that one. They include the following of Quentin Moore from earlier, Jesse Turner, Aaron Macklin, and Stephen Cologne. Laura Chung, Diego Yepes, Jackie Tang, and... Uh, Sky Commons are currently lapped down. Drivers in the tail only lap. They include Allison Rain, Amanda Evans, James Ellison, Roberta Crown Jr., uh, Austin the Plant, Dylan Thoreau, Brad Crawford, and Eric Monaco. So, Leaner, again, as mentioned, is the 0 1 of Lane Sanders. That's where he's at right now. Going to have to deal with the four there. Christian Vargas, second, third, Jessica Sheldon, fourth, Seth Cole. 5th, Mitchell Collins. 6th, Charles Samper. 7th, Vince Fries. 8th, Sam and Oskin. 9th, Eric Burke. Lead top 10 is Chris Dollarton. Green flag back underway. And already they're trying to make quick work on the 4. Very risky move by Lane Sanders to use the high line. And it ended up being a really good move. And oh, man. Oh, Tang is going to be the nuisance here. And Vargas and Seth Cole are going to get around. And this is just a complete cluster. Oh, man. This is terrible. Now, I hope they learned their lesson to be patient to get around these lap cars here because obviously Texas, it is a little bit tricky to get around them on this on this course. So you have to be very smart. Look at Miles using the high line to get around all these cars, especially Tang. What a move on the 44. Obviously, you can tell Commons is the car that's way more off the pace. RJ Bishop trying to use that high line to get follow Levi McIntyre to get around. Jackie Tang in the 28. Oh, and Bishop's going to make it work somehow. Charles Sanford, Sam and Oskin, Chris Dalton, Kyle Matthews, Cole Deaver, and Andrew Davis. Oh, man, you got a feel for uh, Matthews and Deaver there. They were the top two in the race, and then they choked on the pit stop. They're really paying there. Andrew Davis has got a little bit of that rear end damage. They're also really affecting that Conseco Pontiac there. Nice. These drivers are finally going to get around the two, and we are going to be back up to the front of the field. Joe Gibbs having a really good day with Collins and Freeze. They're getting really good runs after all this there, but Lane Sanders in car 0-1 out in front. This is big for Dylan Thoreau, James Ellison, Amanda Evans, and Allison Reynas. Crown Jr. back down pit road as two with Alexander Rowe. And Austin the plant. Now, Rain, Evans, and Ellison, as two with row, they are banking on a caution so they can get back up to the uh, on the tail end of the field there. That way they can have a decent shot at getting some really good points there and uh, have a decent shot at bound for the win because you never know what can happen. But you can see Sanders and Seth Cole are reeling in that 40 car, Dylan Throw. And that Coors Light Dodge. Now, remember with Sanders, he was originally looking at going back to the 8 car for this season. But unfortunately, Bruno Crown Jr. sniped that car 
Well, so far, it's been a little back and forth between the two to see who's been having the better run there, but Sanders right now backing up the stats with a really good run, leading this race here at Texas. He's got a good lead over uh, with him and Seth Cole over third place Christian Vargas. I got to give a call out to Vince Freeze in car 18. P5 after starting dead last in the race. And man, has that Interstate Batteries Pontiac come to life this race. Dodged the two chaotic wrecks. Managed to get up to the front of the field. Be in the top five. And he is going to be very, very pleased with this race. Eric Burton dodging all the chaos as well. Up into P6. Shown P7. McIntyre P8. Right now working on Brad Crawford in the 33. RJ Bishop and uh, Benjamin Miles. They are currently in the top 10 as Miles will take P9 from the Sharpie Ford. So he will definitely not be dead last in the points and will finally get up to 100 points if he stays where he's at. Kyle Matthews has definitely gained some ground there up into P11. Cole Deaver up to P13. Charles Sam. Stand for the meat and the sandwich between those two drivers in P12 there. Now Deaver going to work on that 55 there. Got to remember, Matthews and Deaver got really strong cars there. They were up in the front back, and they were just dominating right before that second caution came out. So no surprise there. Battle for that top position. Seth Cole and Lane Sanders side by side are the two. That's going to help Thoreau catch up to Alexander Rowe, who needs to get around him right now, and that will be the case. Seth will complete the pass. And Seth will have to deal with Rowe in the 27. No, he will not. Him, Sanders, and Vargas will all get around the 27. That's what the Rowe did not need to see right there. Freeze up to P4. Collins P5. Will they deal with the 27? Both drivers will. Burton and Shelton, they may have to deal with them, though, especially if they're going to come on the back straight. And not quite. Rowe actually going to give them some room. Now they're dealing with Commons. And Rain now is starting to uh, kind of fall apart a little bit there. As Evans has gotten around her, Ellison Thoreau has gotten around her, and now Allison Rain going to have to be chuckling a little bit there. And she knows... The hunt is on for that Napa Chevrolet. And unfortunately for her, as they're going to be dealing with Jackie Tang shortly, she may get put one lap down there. Now they're working on the Texaco Havoline Ford of Tang. Rain gets by and the leaders get by. Ooh, Tang! Goodness me! About got dumped by Vargas and that would have been a very bad move there and Vargas's PTSD probably would have really kicked in right there. I guarantee you, after what happened at Mossport about a week ago, that's the last thing he needs is lap traffic really ruining the fun there. See, Raid's trying to work on James Ellison for whatever reason, and both Seth Cole and Lane Sanders know, hey, man, you both got to make a move because we're bound for the win here, and now they're going to battle for the lead. Side-by-side side are both drivers for their respective positions. That's going to help Vargas and Freeze, as too in Mitchell Collins. Rain got ahead of Ellison, and side by side still are the leaders. Sanders retakes the lead. As we are going to come to 11 to go at the stripe. Now Seth Cole under fire from Vargas and Vince Freeze. Vargas to P2. Freeze, P3. Now here they come to Amanda Evans. They're going to probably catch up to Austin the plant briefly. Sanders. He wants the lap. Ellison and Amanda Evans. Oh, he thought about three wide there. He is going to put them three wide. Look at this. He said, all right, forget your battle. I want to get ahead of you guys. I don't blame him. That's a good move by the 0-1 there. Evans is now one lap down. You can add James Ellison one lap down. Rain is hoping and praying for that caution to come out more than ever. And I would not blame Car 15 at all. Now Free is going to have to deal with James Ellison there, who's up into P2 as that Interstate Batteries Pontiac. Top five, all right within a blanket. 
Seth Cole not wasting any time, though. That's helping Ellison trying to run away from second place there, trying to hunt back at Glade Sanders to get back on the lead lap there. Meanwhile, Rain now dealing with Austin the Plant. Rain's going to get around the 66, at least to fight another day to stay on the lead lap. The Plant, though, probably won't be too lucky. Sanders, though. Oh, is not going to get around the Plant. That's going to be trouble. And here comes Seth Cole and others. Full head of steam. These guys that are up in that top 12 there, top 13, they're all right within a blanket. Sam and Oskin at 14th actually reeling in somewhat. Charles Samper. Crown Jr. struggling day there, 25th after everything. Finally, Sanders has gotten around the plant. And Rain and Thoreau, they've been the two running away from the mess, and they're going to have to deal with Sky Commons eventually. Now Ellison, remember, him and the plant are, well, they're not bound for position. Ellison's trying to just stay on the lead lap, and the plant is now two laps down, I believe. I should know the plant's four laps down right now. Holy cow. The car's up to speed. It's just been riddled with issues left and right. Five to go. We come to line for Lane Sanders, that singular wireless dodge. He is trying to do whatever he can to hold off Seth Cole, who has to deal with two lap cars in the mix. And the same can be said for Christian Vargas. Eric Burton up to P4. This car, man, I'm telling you, has been strong. And don't count out Cole Deaver, the three. He has jumped into the mix. Is that Goodrich Chevrolet? Holy cow. Kyle Matthews as well has joined the fray. I would not count out both of those drivers. Where in the world have they come from? Now Deaver working on Mitchell Collins. Now they're dealing with Sky Cobb. It's Thoreau back one lap down. Seth Cole. Oh, he put Eric Burton on the high line and Cole Deaver. Oh, and wait a second. Vargas is coming up hit road. They're not going to make it on gas. Charles Sanford also down. He actually got ahead of Vargas there. Sanders stayed out. Burton just got absolutely cucked, as too did Mitchell Collins. And Sanders is coming now, Pit Road. Sanders can't make it. Seth Cole is going to come down, and he's going to make a move. No, he's not. He's going to dump Rain. Oh, and Rain's actually going to come down, Pit Road, because of that. I hope no one's coming down. I... Oh, no, oh, it's going to hurt Sam and Oz in the 0-2. Oh, what a mess. No caution. Oskin's trying to get the car straight. We'll do so, but wow, just lost so much time because of that. Oh, my word. Cole Deaver stayed out in the three. And remember, he came down pit road when that second caution came out. There he is, Vince Freeze, P2. Make that actually Kyle Matthews, P2. What in the world? On the final lap, actually, my mistake. And Cole Deaver, I don't believe this. The strategy is going to work for the Goodrich Chevrolet. Checker flag, Deaver steals the win at Texas. Wow, I did not even pay attention to the laps ticking down. But Cole Deaver just sniped Lane Sanders out of the win. And pulled some strategy like never before. Wow. Him and Matthews are going to come away top two. Vince Freeze P3. 42nd to third. What a day for that Interstate Batteries Pontiac. RJ Bishop in fourth. Dylan Thoreau will come away. It's a ninth uh, one lap down. Fifth was Levi McIntyre. Sixth, Eric Burton. Seventh, Chris Dollarton. Uh, Brad Crawford actually finished 10th, and James Ellison snuck into the 8th position. How in the world? Wow, after trying to like not get a lap down there. Sanders came away in 12th, Seth Cole 11th. Hate to see it for both of those drivers. I don't think they expected Deaver and Matthews to stay out, but they played strategy, and it worked out to their favor. 
unbelievable. My apologies, I didn't see that the laps were that close, but that tells you, folks, don't don't expect uh, what happens there. Cole Deaver, Kyle Matthews, they have to be laughing at both Seth Cole and Lane Sanders snipe the win out of their hands. And you see only, again, as mentioned, eight cars finished on the lead lap and 29 finished all together. What a race all together that was. Thank you guys for watching. Like, be sure to give a like, comment, your thoughts, subscribe, part of the channel, and subscribe down below. You've been watching production of the SRA Offline Racing at its best. Congrats to the Cold Eaver on getting the win here at Texas. We'll see you guys for the next race. Until then, goodbye, everybody. And we will see you guys later from the points of the video, like always. Peace.